how to use the stage monitor operation from the stage. Thank you to Dylan, our tech. He's going to explain the stage monitor system. Dylan, how do we run a microphone all by itself from down here on the stage without going upstairs? So what you'll want to do is first come to the rack and make sure that the system is powered on. The same white switch upstairs, you have one that looks just like it downstairs right here. You turn it to the right, it's going to cut everything on down here and all the amplifiers and the mixer and everything up at the top. If you turn it off, it's going to turn your entire system off. So you'll want to make sure that if we don't want to use the sound booth up there, we just come to this rack, turn the system on, then we're going to grab a microphone down here from the cabinet, turn it on, and make sure that we can hear ourselves. There's also another volume control for this microphone right here. If you push this button in, you'll then see the screen light up in the back, and you can turn it to the right uh, for more volume, and turn it down to the left for less volume. So we have another point. If you ever don't have any sound, you'll want to come down to the stage box and ensure that you are selected in the proper setting here. So currently, I have sound. If for some reason I do not have sound, such as right now, we'll want to come down and make sure that main mixer only is not selected, because that will be if we were going to run everything from up in the booth. So what we'll want to do is push in, turn over to the right or to the left till we get auto mixer or both mixers on. Currently I'm going to leave it at both mixers on so that I can use the control down here for this microphone and I can also use the, mic the sound system up in the booth if I need to. Additionally, I can come in and turn this on with both mixers on and then use the iPad to control the entire soundboard right from down here without going up into the booth at all. Dylan? Show us the light that comes out up there without breaking the antennas. There's a light up at the very top here, and it's a slide out. The first thing you want to do so as not to damage the antennas is turn them just out of the way. These are about like your elbow. They can only bend so much one way or they will break. So what we'll do is come up to the top, gently slide this out just a little bit and then now we can turn this light control up to the right and have just a little bit of light for this rack. Again, please be careful of these antennas because they will hyperextend and break. What is the area underneath the channel 9 microphone operator? This area right here is a control for your ClearCom. You have an additional ClearCom unit that looks like a telephone that can plug directly into here and you can now listen or talk to and additionally call to get attention of anyone on a headset that is plugged in on any of these intercom plugs throughout the auditorium. If you would like control over your two Q stage speakers. You have one stage right and you have an identical one all the way on the other side stage left. Those are again going to feed as a direct copy from the mains and the amplifier that we looked at earlier that is also going to do the outside ceiling speakers and the speakers back here. If that is on and you want to change the volume of these speakers you can come to the volume controls here and turn the Q to stage right up or down, and then the cue to stage left, up or down.